Flinders owned the remaining 40% in the terminal and received the rights to acquire the DP World stake following that deal. Now, a new report shows that there has been a clear decrease in the number of phishing attacks on financial institutions in the region. The latest threat intelligence report from Palladian Networks has a special focus on the Middle East. It found that of those attacks, most came from the U.S., while none came from China. I'm joined now by the CEO of Palladian Networks, Rajat Mohanty. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you, Kimberly. We hear so much about it. What exactly is phishing? Phishing is a technique in which a customer of a bank or an e-commerce site is lured to go into a fake website and he ends up giving his username and password to that website, which is taken over by the phisher. So it's the emails you get and saying, log yeah. on to your, your account, you've got to update your details or something, and it obviously doesn't come from your bank. Right, right. The attack steps are a phisher would set up a fake website and send you an email with various kinds of messages and you go to that site and you end up losing your account. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sure most of us have those and thankfully they go into our junk mail yes. more often than not but you say there's a decrease or the report found that there was a decrease. What is driving that decrease? Okay the data shows that uh, last year uh, the typical bank in Middle East had on an average 600 phishing attack uh, which was a clear dip of almost 5% compared to the year before. Now the 5% may not sound big but in security the attacks keep rising year on year. So any decrease in any kind of attack is good news for the enterprises. Now why, why, are, why are phishing decreasing? Uh, primarily I would say there are two reasons. Mm -hmm. One, banks are able to bring down the sites faster. Today banks have techniques to detect which are the phishing sites and take it down. So our data showed that and on an average a bank would take between 8 to 10 hours to bring a phishing, phishing site down. Parallelly, the number of victims that are going to a phishing site and falling for that are roughly less than 10 per site. So if you look at it from a fisher point of view, there's not too much of an economics for him. He puts lots of effort, money to set up a site, send mails, get people to the site. At the end of it, it's down in 8 to 10 hours and he probably gets less than 10 victims. Yeah, that hours is really quite a short time. I'm quite surprised. Um, but if phishing is on the decline, what do these institutions need to be on the lookout for now? The phishing is declining from the point of view of website-based phishing, that is, phisher putting up a website. Uh, we found different types of phishing coming up to counter the website phishing going down. One of the ways is uh, people will send email with a form in it. You don't go to a website. You just have to open the form and fill in, and the data goes back to the phisher. Today, most of the people may not be aware about that. You just get an attachment, and you open up the form, and the data goes. The other things that these attackers are looking at is in your desktop. So the mail will come with some attachment in which there will be a Trojan that gets into your desktop and next time you go to your bank, the Trojan will get activated and send your data out to the fisher. So those are the different ways that which... So basically don't up. open any attachments if you don't know where they're coming from? Yes, if you're not confident of the sender. Okay. Right. Mr. Rajat Mohanty, the CEO of Palladian Networks, thank you so much for coming in tonight. Thank you, Kimberly. Here's a look now at today's markets and the currencies.